Hello, my soccer universe, for another Women's World Cup update. Yesterday, Group C finished up and it made for quite the interesting finish uh, overall. Um, just uh, before the start, we had Italy with two wins, then six points in Australia and Brazil level, but Australia holding just a little... No, Brazil still holding a slight advantage because they had beaten uh, Jamaica uh, by three and so they had the goal difference advantage. However, um, you know, with Australia playing Jamaica in their dark green jerseys, with well, Jamaica in yellow, it looked a little bit weird to be honest about their matchup, but you know, different color matchup. What can you do? Um, Australia was playing Jamaica and it was the big Sam Kerr show uh, who scored four goals, two already in the first half, uh, powerful headers. I mean, she is definitely force. Um, Jamaica actually pulls one back right at uh, after the half uh, to make it 1-2, which actually put Australia a little bit in a bind, as we will see. Because um, if Brazil was to win against Italy, then it was down to goal difference, whether you're second or third. And Italy having a 5-0 over Jamaica was actually looking safe for a long time. So when um, Samantha Kerr made it 3-1, and then 4 1, they actually had matched uh, Brazil and even bettered them because they had not only a um, 2 1 win against Italy, they also beat them. So, um, goal difference would not be an issue for them unless Brazil beats Italy by a larger margin than, um, uh, in, than just one goal. So, Samantha Kerr gets four goals. The fourth one was. Uh, not a, a nice one. I mean, the goalkeeper wanted to shoot it away, uh, misses the ball, and Samantha Kerr can just put it into the net. It ends 4 1 for Australia. But all eyes that evening were between Italy and Brazil, which is maybe not at the women's stage, but it's, a, it's such a classic matchup, and it's probably my favorite jersey matchup. The blue and white of Italy against the yellow, or blue and white of Brazil. It's just one of those matchups that I absolutely love um, and I want to see this more often than we do. But maybe if I would see it more often, it's not that great. It's just a gorgeous matchup. So yeah, the game was a great one. Uh, especially in the first half, it was open. It was a typical Brazil-Italy match. How you would, even for the men, uh, imagine it with um, Brazil having more of the possession, but Italy hitting on the counter-attack, which I found very interesting. There were few good chances. I think Boninsea had early a uh, nice shot on goal, then probably the chance of the evening. Uh, De Binha, after um, I think a cork or a cork, she wanted to back heal it uh, below the bar, um, out of the air. And it was saved by the Italian goalkeeper uh, Giuliani. Um, late in the first half, um, Giarelli had a goal disallowed, rightly so, for offside, and Bonincea with a thunderous volley that was also saved by Barbara, uh, who should have made it probably 1-0 for Italy. A really open match, uh, as I said, more um, uh, possession and more control for Brazil, but Italy very uh, dangerous on the counter-attack. However, in the second half, Really, Brazil took over and there was not much coming from Italy anymore. You've had the feeling that uh, they're lacking a little bit the strength to go on. And you knew that Brazil needs to get a goal. And they um, hit the bar from a free kick. Um, and yeah, then in Cristiane came off. In the end, it was a penalty that yeah was probably justified that Marta converts, she's now on 17 goals or oh, World Cup um, World Cup goals, meaning she's ahead of Miroslav Klose. You know what I think about Miroslav Klose's uh, 16 goals. Um, I've written a long series of blog posts on that, that basically Gerd Müller, I ah, even made a video that Gerd Müller is the best goal scorer and it's not really Miroslav Klose. Miroslav Klose just has the uh, played a lot of games and hence scored a lot of goals. And I think the same is probably true for Marta. I don't want to diminish her uh, achievement, but you know, uh, if you play a lot of games 
and she played in her fifth World Cup, you're bound to score a lot of goals. Still, she gets the 1-0 win for Brazil, and at that point, uh, Australia was only up by 2-1. Uh, so at that point, it was Italy in first place, Brazil in second, and then Australia in third. Since Australia scored the other two, and Brazil could not score anything, and probably Italy was then coming up again, but couldn't really hit the equalizer. Uh, they were anyway sort of safe in first place. It, there was a chance that Brazil could drop a po the points again, but you know, it ends with a 1-0 win for Brazil, hence I'm wearing this Brazil jersey from 2014, you know, the one from the biggest defeat in Brazil history, uh, in World Cup history. Uh, I actually like it, to be honest. And so, with Brazil winning, all teams finish level on points. However, it comes down to goal difference, and that basically means how did you do against Jamaica? Italy had the advantage there with plus five, Australia plus three, and Brazil plus three, but then with more goals scored for Australia, Australia gets the second spot, which sets up now. Um, and we also know that Brazil is through based, of, uh, based on that, because I don't think anyone will be able to match those six points of the third place team. This now means that uh, Australia will play Norway on Saturday. We also know that Italy will play at the very end, but will be a third place team, the two to, to be decided. And Brazil, yeah, we have to see where they will end up. They could end up against France, they could have end up against Germany. Uh, yeah, those are the two uh, matchups. Will definitely be interesting to see how they will end up, uh, because both of these matchups are quite intriguing. France against Brazil is another matchup that I would like to see. So yeah, today we have Group D. Japan against England should be an interesting one. That's a rematch of the semi-final from four years ago, where Japan won through a goal uh, to a last-minute own goal by England. Maybe the English will get revenge. Let me know what you thought about yesterday's games. Um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.